Yo, it's NJ. Huh? And well, would you look at this? A video about hair, even though I just made one. So you see, this is actually part two, but if you ended up watching this video first, just click the, the thingy that pops up somewhere at the top there to go watch the first video. You know, because you gotta watch part one before you watch part two, you know, because it makes sense. Or you could pull a part two is actually part one analysis and watch this one anyway. It doesn't really matter. Just don't complain this one that there's no actual steps. No, 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 no. There, there's steps. It's in part one. Go watch that one. No complaints are allowed. <laughs> but anyway, um, to continue. In this video, I'll return to the first two characters' hairstyles I drew, as well as uh, I draw my OC's hair uh, from my OC story, El Havenstone. The characters are Cooper and Victoria Ravenhill, for those who are interested. Uh, but that is about it. I'm not really gonna diddle daddle. Well, dilly daddle, daddle doodle, diddle. Let's get back into it. Now I'll get to ones that I've drawn, which are well, ones that really exist. But. I'm going to try and get it ex as accurate as I can to the original that I drew it. I can't remember how I drew it. I know, okay, hers is pretty easy to, to draw and remember, remember. Yes, I had to do a redesign and he has a hat on. But this time he won't have a hat on, so... Sad noises. But it's fine. So now, with this hairstyle, his hairstyle goes like this. So we do his guideline for his where his hair is gonna be and his hair is actually yeah this way his point is gonna be but now these ones I'm gonna raise shoot ah, that's fine yeah I've got the I've got that there so now um, yeah so his hair goes up like this and then goes down goes up Goes down again, goes up, and then goes down again. So he's got three of those. And then his head goes up to a point, bounces, and then bounces again, and comes back down. That's not his whole hair because he actually has a lot more hair that I did design a while back, but now I can't remember. But then his hair goes out like this and sticks out like so. So I'm gonna draw the back of his hair like that. And then this hair goes to the back like this. And then it goes a bit further. And then but now it goes way too far out, which is what we don't want. So just do erase that, go to that, and then there you go. This is volume again. So now Here, it's actually more neater than this. So, one, two, three, four, five, and now I'm gonna erase not erase but put the white lines on the parts that you wouldn't typically see. And this, I said I was just gonna erase because mistakes were made. I'm gonna make this 100% opacity now because uh, we're tired of it. Now, a nice detail as well is now, as you can see, it looks a bit weird, but this is where we at the just now, I guess, the design. So his hair goes like this. And then I'll do this, make sure it's a little bit open, but not enough where it looks weird. Then you make like similar patterns. And then make sure they connect in a way that makes sense to the hairstyle. But I actually haven't drawn his hair fully like this before. So this is actually the first time because this is uh, the redesign with no hat. So there we go. And then hair goes down, hair goes down. Now what I did here is that I did the thing that I told you about where it's like the lines like that. 
in the little lines like that. Another thing I do actually as well is that if I really want to add pizzazz is that I'll take a strand and then ever so slightly bring it down and then this is like here that just sticks out on its own. This is just, again, little details that I'm adding just to make sure that it looks correct. So there we go. These Cooper's hair done. We can do the little things that I do, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on the character. I usually do it after as highlights. So there we go. That is Cooper's hair. But then again, like I said, to indicate that like it's dark areas, I usually just add some sort of like sheen to show that it's at the back. But there you go, that's a point if it was there. Now we're going to do middle, which is going to be roughly around about there, so do this. Put there. Now with Victoria, you actually can't see her ears in my hairstyle, so we're going to get rid of that. Get rid of her ears and her earring. So she looks weird right now, but it's it's mostly hairstyle. So now, Victoria has hair that also parts. It's in the middle, but it's also straight hair. So this one is actually pretty simple and easy to do. So one goes up and curves and then goes down. And then another curves up and then goes down. And then there we go. That's pretty much halfway done with uh, Victoria's hair. We'll obviously add the lines and then hers is fortunately nearby to the scalp so then do that and then down take it out and then go down hers is actually pretty long so her hair actually goes up until like here but we're not going to draw that far we're just going to cut it off where her arm would be so round about there now when hair is like this um, you're gonna have to erase some parts, so I'm just gonna erase the parts where her things would, uh, those like hair getting pulled back would be. And now we actually have to get rid of parts that you would not see. So, and technically speaking, you would not see the eyes and eyebrow. That is a stylistic, just a stylistic choice of mine, actually. But realistically speaking, you would not see that at all. This is somewhat similar to what hair looks like, but let me refine it a bit more. Oh, because I'm drawing white. I'm just making it in a style that uh, my style that I like. Actually, your hair goes like. I'll show you what I usually do for when the hair goes out like this. If you want to do what I do and the eyes and eyebrows do show throughout through the hair, then I'll show you now. So now with this, we're going to draw the strands that I told you about. So this one's going to be like that. There you go. Another stylistic choice of mine. This seems somewhat inaccurate because I think it does go back a little bit more and then... Seems a bit weird, but you know... It is what it is. And the hair goes down like that, down... Down... Alright, so, there's Victoria's hair, Cooper's hair, Aero's in Baku. Okay, cool. 
Now let's get to the coloring, which is actually easier than um, the rest. So uh, poor Baku, Will Baku's hair here is just going to be the uh, random child that doesn't get all the attention, but it's fine. So now you pick a base color. This is how I just color it. You can have these lots of ways to actually color hair, uh, but for me, this one uh, is just what I do. So, but let's let's get his whole hair done and then see what the with the what the damage is. Okay, so the problem is mostly there. Cool beans. Erase, that's too big of an erase, that's gonna erase everything, so erase pretty much everything, it's fine. Okay, so now that his hair is done, uh, I would alpha lock your thing, which is like, I don't know what it could be for other programs, but with Critter, it's this thing where you won't be able to draw outside the line. So anywhere I draw here, will not draw unless it's in the lines. So now this is up to you. You can add, uh, I guess, shading for it. So where it's darker. So I'm gonna do this. Take my this brush and draw or color in where it would be darker. So there. But that, I don't like that color too much, but it's fine. I think this is a bit dull. It's a bit better actually, for me. Highlights could be anything. I usually use, like in sketches, I usually use plain white. So this is just Baku's hair. That would be like this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, just like little spiky bits that would just highlight the hair. And I guess that would be Baku's hair. You could have it stylized anyway. This is just how I do it. It's pretty basic. If I really wanted to render hair, it'd be way more different. But I wanted to show you now what one would do when you'd get to, I guess, if it overlaps. So we'll go to Yairo's. Yairo's is, so hers is most, it's, it's black. Her hair is pretty much black, so. Okay, now when that's done, well, ever so slightly, you now cannot figure out the shading for this one. This one was gonna have a bit more because, well, lo and behold, it had a lot of detail in it actually to indicate which one's back and which one's forward. But anyway, if I did miss a point, uh, I wanted to ask that if I did miss a point, that please uh, just put in the comment section what exactly you I missed and what you'd like me to, I guess, just explain. So now. Again, white being the highlighting factor, at least now it's not a lot, we have to, a lot of details that we have to fix. So, on white, this is where the highlights would be. Again, this is how, just how I do it. It's gonna go through, yeah, I know. But it's fine, since that is exactly what happens. Do that. And, and this one is like, oops, it's like this. So there we go. And this one is actually just white. It looks like it looks really like it really stands out too much for me. So I'm gonna redo it quickly with a different color. This is not how I would do uh, my hair specifically because uh, I don't find this method to work for me. It's just that it doesn't. Not that it doesn't work. It's just that. It's something I haven't found myself to like in arm drawing. Like it looks good on other things, 100%. But for me, it just does not work. I just don't like it. Like the way this, like this is highlighted. I can see the highlights, fair enough. Like, there we go, highlights, da, da, da. But this is not how I would do highlights. How I would do highlights and stuff is how it is back there. And then I'd make this darker, but hey, we're going over to my side so then I can actually show you what I do. Now, this is like a perfect interpretation of what I do. So I'm going to get brown for his main hair color. Okay, 
Oh, there we go. Cool. So there's here's done. Now, where are, there would be dark shadows, I'd put most. Uh, well, I'd definitely put darker things like uh, dark. Uh, the, where the shadows would be. So there we go. That's where shadow would be. There we go. Some sort of. Uh, what's the, I forgot the word now. But then essentially, I'll do that for specific parts where it, it should be dark. Not always or often, but for the most part, there. That's where it should be dark. I'd go ham on specific parts if I really wanted to, like here and here. There. Here it's dark. Now we get to the part where it's highlights. And this is where I think I talked about was. So he's here. Things like this. And then I'll do what I call my highlights. This is how I would do highlights, but it's not practical or whatever, but it's just what I found nice that works for me. That's too long. But like, the how should the light out obviously be like, okay, whoops. Mistakes for me. Depending on how harsh the lighting is, so. But this seems to be working now that it's bigger. In a sense. We just draw a line. But again, I don't like that. There you go. That is pretty much how I do hair. Somewhat minimal shading, just depending on how the lighting is. But since there's practically no lighting, uh, it's just gonna be like this. And uh, okay, lastly we have Victoria. Her hair is actually oddly white, but I'm gonna make it like a nice uh, bluish ice white. <laughs> I said white, but um, yeah. Hers at least will be quick enough to also color in. I also need to fix the color of the hair. Oops, mistakes were made. Okay, there we go. But now it needs to be a lot lighter. Luckily, we already have it done, so get an alpha lock and then a little bit more to the white or silver. A little bit back to the blue. Okay, close enough. It's actually like pure white in the picture that I drew her in. But I can't draw pure white because it's just don't blend the background. So now, once you have base color done, I'm gonna go to a darker color. Indicate there and there. As well as at the back of here, since the hair is really long, it does actually go to the back. But this one looks like it's going a little bit forward. There's actually a bit where it goes like this. That's fine. So that's done. Um, I guess that's it. That's literally her hair. There is an extra another step that I'll show you now actually that I do But now I'm gonna do her highlights. I think we can do pure white at this point But it's mm -mm. So what I did was in the other drawing I did like blue Not that blue though it Doesn't look like highlights but essentially I did a blue and then White would have actually just worked so much better. So anyway, there's her hair. Done. Her hair is also just white. This has four different hairstyles. Now, an extra thing that I'll do is that I'd go to the line art and put alpha lock on. Take the color and get a more vibrant version of the color and then just go through the line art with the same color. Is this the line art layer? It is. Oh, but I didn't draw the hair on this layer. Okay. So there's the hair. It would be more vibrant, or it, at least it will, sorry about that, so at least it will have to be darker, so. More ashy dark. Nope. And then the hair would then become like this. Where it's no longer black, but now blends nicely with the, I guess, the hair that you've drawn. Now, to explain what I do with when it sticks out like this, so I go in the line art layer, 
and then take that same dark color that I did and then just cut over it. Cut over the parts that would be underneath the hair, like so. Now it looks like it's behind the hair. We'll do it again with hers. We take that color, get a bit darker, and then parts that you would not be able to see otherwise. And now, now look like they're cooking covered. This is uh, clearer to see than actually this one. But there you go. And Ooh, hair. But otherwise, there you go. That is how I draw hair, and that's how you can also learn how to draw hair. And I hope that it was helpful, at least understanding seeing me do it live for this bit of a longer video. But there you go. I'm, I'm hoping this helped in some way or another, and you guys will be back to see more videos. And I will be making more videos just to help update everyone on how things have been actually going. And then you all know why I've been gone for so long and why I only did like two streams. But otherwise, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.